Hello and welcome back to the Fred Everest Challenge. My name is Bomber Herald. Um, so I've gone through the pre-season. Let's have a look how we've done. Mixed bag, really, but we are West Brom. What, um, what do you expect? Um, I've also let my scouts go and do their job and we've brought in a few players. So let's have a look at these players now. First off... Um, Obviously, we needed, remember, two full backs. Um, ideally, a, a replacement centre back, a striker, and also, uh, if we have the money, an attacking midfielder. We managed to go out and get all those players, so we'll have a look at them. First sign in was Callum Patterson from Hearts. We signed him for um, 4.1 million. Now, oops, gone back too far. Obviously, young player, he's got bags of potential, he can go straight into the, to the squad, so hopefully we'll rotate round, hopefully get a little, little bit better with us, and he's our um, second right back. At left back, we signed Massimo Gobbi, 950,000 from Kievo. Um, I mean, he's been there, done it, he's fits into the squad perfectly, he's going to be a good backup player, he'll fill in at that left back position as, as when we need him. He's on a two year deal, um, 35 years old, two year deal, Not it's not great but I didn't want to sign him for a one year deal and then be left without a replacement left back next season so he's a minor risk, I mean 12.5 thousand a week isn't too bad in the Premier League anyway. For a striker, my scouts brought by this Marco Rubin. Now he's a fantastic um, player, as it turns out. Now I did take a bit of a punt on this one. Um, my scouts were only only had 54% knowledge of him, so I don't do him to the shortlist and get my scouts to do their business. And then his agent came came on to say that someone had bid for him. Um, now he was my prime target. I was waiting until I had 100% scouting knowledge. Because he was either going to be an average striker or a good striker. Not not great, but good. Of course, when that bid went in, I had to act swiftly. So I took a bit of a punt and we went in, got him. And I'm delighted. I mean, he's all his stats were at the top end of where they were. For, for those of you that don't um, play with a tribute masking on, until you know 100% knowledge, your scouts will come back with a range. So like finishing, for example was between, because it was 54%, it was showing it was going to be between 13 and 18, or 13 and 17, so something like that. So I knew it was either going to be average or, or good. It, was, it was, wasn't going to be great. So it was like that on all the stats. So I looked at the worst case scenario and made a mind up how much we were going to um, spend on him. 2.7 million. I don't think he's, I don't think that's bad business. He's worth 4.9 million, so... Worst comes to worst, we'll we'll be able to make our money back at the end of the season if he doesn't um, fill in. He did bag a hat trick on his debut. It was pre-season, but he bagged the hat trick, and he then bagged two more in another game. At both his starts, substitute appearance, he did nothing when he came on. For attacking midfielder, I was going to start the season without one and see what became available until I got a message that someone else on my shortlist had become available. Lee Chung Yong from Crystal Palace. Now we paid a paid more than I wanted to for him. We've he's come in and let's have a look. We paid 3.5 million up front. I think there's another million and a half in extras based on if we make Europa League and and things things such as that. But he's going to be a good player to come in. He's going to be. A, a backup option for the attacking midfield. So, so you've got injuries and when when he needs to be rotated, he's going to come in. Now, obviously, as I've said before, I'm not going to be picking the squad, so he might not even get a game or he might start every match. Who knows? So it's, it's up to the board, the board of selectors. Now, the other player I wanted to show you is this fellow, Rivaldo Cotesi. Now, he's a South African international from Ajax Cape Town. Now, look at the potential. Four star, maybe five star potential. Now I know what you're thinking straight away. It's tackling is very poor for a 
for a centre-back. Now, he's only 19, but he is a ball-playing defender. So what we're going to do is I've set it up so that if, when he comes in to any of the centre-back spots, he is going to play as a ball-playing defender on cover. Hopefully the tackling won't let us down. What I am looking at, though, is his passing ability is fantastic. Heading and jumping reach, brilliant. He's got pace. He's got bags of determination. Um, he's got the technique. He's got the work rate, the vision, and the positioning. So he's got everything there that we need for a defender. He just can't tackle well. He's 19 years old. We'll be able to improve that. He'll be, he'll be 12, 13 in no time, and he'll, he'll fit in perfectly. Signed him for less than a million pounds. He was 950,000. He's already worth 5.25 to us. He's a hot prospect. So hopefully he's a good investment for the future. He's either going to be a solid foundation to build a strong back four. Or he's going to be an asset that we can sell five, six years down the road. So there we are. There are, um, there are new players in. Sent out a bunch of players on loan. Jonathan Lecco's gone out on loan. He'll be better suited playing for the MK Dons than he will sat on the bench here. Our first match of the season is against Leicester. Obviously defending champions Leicester, as it were, in 2016. So let's get on with that match. First thing we need to do is quick pick, and we'll see what we start with. So we've got new signing Ruben up front. Um got Nasser Chadley on the left playing as inside forward um, James Morrison attacking midfielder Matt Phillips over on the right again inside forward we've got Jakob and Fletcher in cent central midfield Jakob on an attacking mentality I wouldn't have put him there myself but it's not down to me Mark Wilson come back from injury and he's been stuck in at left back interesting he's not fully fit but there we go. Um, Johnny Evans and Gareth McCauley, a bit old, and Alan Neom on the right. Um, ben Foster, obviously, in goal. It's a no brainer decision, that one. Who have we got on the bench then? So, I mean, Brendan Galloway would have been my pick for left back. Um, we've got Sam Field, Craig Dawson, Solomon Rondon on the bench. PSG wants him, so his head's been turned. Jay Livermore, Jonas Olsen. It's, um, it's a bit of a mental bench. We've got three defenders on the bench. Anyway. Can't exact complain, can we? Oh, what a doofus. I didn't register go with Gobby and Lee Chung Young. So they've only just signed, so paperwork issue that one. So let's get on with the match. Right then. We'll apply the assistant advice for the opposition instructions. We'll go to the team talk. Uh, we're just going to tell the lads quite calmly to give the performance. The odds being against us here. Let's see what we can do. Look, switched off. Let's see if we can turn that around. There we go. That's a bit better. We've got faith that you've got what it takes. Faith that you've got what it takes. And let's get out there. Now we're playing control against a um, against a mighty Leicester side. It might not be the the best of ideas, but we'll we'll see what happens from it. Um, going forward, Nasser Chadley puts it through to Ruben. Oh, I can't find Jakob, compatriot there. Now we're getting caught on the counter. Vardy coming forward, and it. 1-0 to Leicester, Riyad admirers. And apparently not seen a replay of that one. Okay. Let's just make sure that um, replay... Ah, it's because I've turned replays off for my... Um, for my other save. When it's just me, I don't tend to watch the replays because they take a lot of time. And I try, I try and get through seasons as fast as I can. Let's have a look now. Wilson, that oh, that could have been a great ball. Obviously, they're not familiar with the tactics yet. So, oh, and Vardy's through. That was a let off there. 
Yeah, so the players aren't fully familiar with the tactics. We've got a bonkers left back decision there. Mark Wilson at left back is insane, but you know, Go Gobby wasn't registered. The idiot manager didn't register him, so that's a that's a rookie error. Um, yeah, what what do we say to this? Let's have a look. We can unlucky boys. There we go. Motivated. Have we got anyone that can come in and fill in? Callum Patterson, can he go? No, he's just on the right. What about him? Right, so let's swap him over. Let's give Patterson his debut that way. Do we need to do anything else just yet? No, I don't think so. We'll keep we'll keep the faith with now yeah, we'll bring Solomon Rondon. Rondon needs needs to be playing. And second half kicks off. And are we gonna score in the first minute of it? No, nope, but Leicester might. There we go. I mean, they are just completely all over us here. Vardy, Ben Foster's kept us in this. All right, come on. Quick counter now. That's not really quick enough, and the highlight ends. I mean, he's not going to be great on the left wing, on the left, as left back, rather. And Vardy, and Damari Gray, right. We're going to have to come away from control, I think. Um, and it was too late. Oh, four to six years, yeah. We'll be looking to see how one year. Defending like this. Early days, yeah. Early days. I mean, if, in four to six years, to, to match Fred Everest, you only have to win one league and one cup. It's, well, the FA Cup, not, not the Tim Pot Trophy. Um, so we'll, we'll see we'll see what we can do I mean hopefully West Brom got an understanding board and yeah we'll see Gareth McCauley's I mean he's what is he about 900 years old Matt Phillips oh. good opening though there's a good chance that one Chadley and he loses out to Simpson and we're going to get caught on the break here as Mares pulls it across Jamie Vardy makes it 3-0 it's a disastrous start to Bomber Herald's managerial career at West Brom but the, result, the results will come over time I mean one of the things you've got to remember about football manager is when you take over a new club if you mess with the tactics too much, you bring in your own tactics and you, the players aren't used to that style of play, it does take a, quite a while for them to adapt. I mean, I, you can, or as Morrison comes through, now you can obviously set your training so they're just practicing tactics more and more and more, but then you risk losing your attacking ability. So I, I like to be balanced. I'm, I'm a patient man. First season, first Six to eight weeks is just about the team adapting to the tactics. I am one of these, I force my tactics on a team and then buy players to suit if they're not, if they're not able to fulfil. I, I don't generally go in and, as Brian and Sam feel for a bit of, um, a bit of a, a experience, I don't generally go in and look what players I've got available and then put a tactic to that I mean I will if if there's no money available for example so I mean my own personal save that I've been playing recently is Kikira in the Greek Super League now they had no money um, 2,000 seat, seat stadium and I mean the players were just bonkers so I had, to, I had to come up with some interesting formations there so I had to adapt myself it was interesting, but by the end of the second season, we've won the Super League, and I was able to force this for this um, 
four two three one as we go four nil down there. I, I hate getting thrashed like this. But yeah, so I mean it's it's all about getting the right players in the right positions, but it, you don't always have to you don't always have to just pick a new tactic. You you can use the same tactic over and over as long as you're patient and understand it's gonna take time for your players to adapt, especially if they're playing different roles. So first um, first match ends in a four 0 defeat. Only Kaboids it just wasn't our day. I mean Leicester beast beast are a team compared to us, defending champions, so we'll We'll start the series off with a 4-0 defeat. Not ideal. We got absolutely battered. We did dominate possession, but that counts for nothing. We got caught on the break constantly. Charles Leicester won the league. Um, so, I'll go away now. I'll play up to the Boxing Day fixture. And I'll see you next time. So, from me, Bomber Herald, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>